Welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. In this video, we will understand how we can create a table by using a view in SQL Server. So we will start off this video by covering these three topics. First, we will understand how we can create a table from view in SQL Server. Then we will understand how we can replicate just a table structure from a view in SQL Server and in the last we will discuss how we can create a temporary table using a view in SQL Server. Now before we start off with the topic I would like to tell you that we bring these type of informative content to you so if you really like this video you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Now let's jump to the very first topic and let's understand how we can create a table from view in SQL Server. Generally, to create a table, first we need to define a table structure using the create table statement. After this, we have to use the insert statement to insert data into the table. But in SQL Server, there is a shortcut to copy data from one table to another. In this shortcut, we use the select and into statement. Now a view is just like a virtual table. So we can also use this view to create a table without even using the create table statement. So here on the screen, you can see the general syntax that we can use. After selecting the database, we need to start off our query with the select statement where we need to select the columns that we required. Then we need to use the into statement and after the into keyword, we have to specify the name of the table that we want to create. And then comes the from view statement where we need to specify the name of the view from which we want to create the new table. Now we can understand this concept better with the help of an example. So I will quickly jump to my SQL Server Management Studio. Now very first step that we are going to implement is to create a view. For this first we need to have a table. So what I am going to do, I am going to use the SQL Server Guides database and in this I have one table with name customer table. So if I run this, you can see it. this table consists of 8 records where we have customer ID first name, last name, email, city and country. Now what I am going to do, first I will create a view. Now to create a view, we use this statement create view. Then we need to specify the name of the view. So I have named this view as USA underscore customer view. Then comes the as keyword and after that we need to specify the select statement. So what I am doing in this, I am selecting the first name as a customer name. Then I am selecting city and I am uh, putting a alias name as city name. In the same way, I am fetching country and I am putting the alias name as country base name. And I am using the customer table from this. Now I have also specified a where clause. So what I am doing, you can see in this table, the records are from multiple countries. For example, Canada is there, uh, New Zealand is there, United States is there. So what I am doing, I am creating a view which will fetch all the records uh, which are there in the country United States. So I will simply click on execute and once this statement has been executed, I can uh, use the select statement on the view to fetch the data. I will type select star from and the name of the view is USA underscore customer view. And again, if I execute here, you can see we have created one view which consists of three records from the customer table. Now what I am going to do, I am going to use this USA underscore customer view to create a new table with new name and that table will consist all the data that this view will return. So I will click on new query. Again, uh, I am going to use the SQL Server Guides database. So I will put that statement first. Now uh, first uh, what I will do, I will use a select statement. I will put a asterisk to fetch all the columns from the view. Then I will use the into keyword and now I have to specify the name of the table. So let me name this table as USA underscore table. Then I have to put the from keyword and after that I have to specify the name of the view. So the name of the view is USA underscore customer view. TBO first and let in the end let me put go statement. Now if I execute this query here you can see three rows affected. So what this statement has done it has created this table with name USA underscore table and it has fetch all the data from this customer view. So basically that customer view was having only three records. That's why three records has been affected. Now if I remove this and just uh, select all the data from this USA underscore table. Uh, sorry, I have to put from here. Let me execute this and here you can see the data. And now here you can also see the column names are just like that how we have specified in our view. So customer name city name and country name. Now let's move to the next topic and let's understand how we can create a table structure from a view in SQL Server. Uh, so what we have done in the previous section, we have copied the complete table. But what if I just want to copy the structure from a view? 
I don't want the data. What we can do in that case? Let's do that as well with the help of an example. Let me first delete this US underscore table from my database. So I will first refresh the table section. And under this, you can see this US underscore table. I will delete this. Again, let me refresh this again. And here you can see the US underscore table is not coming up now. So how we can just copy the structure from a view? Again, we have to use the select into statement only. So I will write select star into USA underscore table and then I have to put the from keyword then the name of the view which is USA underscore customer view. Now there is one trick to just copy the table structure. What we will do we will specify one false condition here. So what will happen when the false condition will be trigger no data will be copied. So what I will specify here I will use the where clause and I will put 1 equal to 2. Now we all know 1 equal to 2 will return false. So what will happen? It will only fetch the table structure, not the table data. So if I again execute this block here, you can see zero rows has been affected. But uh, when we executed our previous query related to that, in that case, three rows were affected because there are three rows of data in this view. Now if I remove this and check the data in the US underscore table, we will only get the structure not the data here you can see the table here is empty but we got the column names as it is from the view so with this i hope you all understand how we can create a table structure and exact table from a view in sql server let's move to the next topic and let's understand how we can create a temporary table from a view in sql server basically a temporary table is a database table that exists only temporarily on the database server moreover these tables are either dropped automatically when the session that created them ends or they can be deliberately dropped by the users. Now we already have a dedicated article on this how we can create a temporary table in SQL Server. You can read that article for more information related to temporary tables. In this video, we will keep ourselves specific to the creation of temporary table using view and again I will do this with the help of an example. So again, I'm back to my SQL Server Management Studio. Now to create a temporary table, we just need to put a hash in front of the table name. So how we can uh, implement this example? Again, I have to use the same syntax that we were using previously. The minor change that we are going to make here is instead of specifying the table name, we will specify the name of a temporary table and the name of a temporary table starts from a hash. So I will write here, select star again into then the name of the temporary table so i have named my temporary table as usa underscore table now don't worry if this usa underscore table has been already there because temporary tables and the standard database tables are different uh, a temporary table has been stored in the temporary database which is there in this system databases so in this system databases you can see this temp db so whenever we create a temporary table it will be stored in this temp db after specifying the temporary table name what we need to do we need to use the from keyword and then the name of the view so in my case the name of the view is usa underscore customer view again if i execute this thing here you can see it is showing three rows affected now if i just use the select star from usa table here you can see we got our result so we have successfully created a temporary table replicates data from the us underscore customer view now again if i show you i will refresh this system databases i will expand my temporary table uh, database and under this you can see this temporary tables uh, directory i have to expand this and under this you can see this uh, database hash usa underscore table and with this we have come to the end of this tutorial session so if you really like this video you can press the like button and you can also subscribe to our youtube channel for more tutorials like this and here are some more list of videos that you can watch after this one thank you for watching this video we will see you in the next one